All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my 2008 Honda S2000. Uh, won't be doing a walk around with the car today, but we will be going for a short drive. And I will try to talk about the unexpected journey with this car and how I impulse bought the car pretty much uh, last June, 2022. So the car is like I like I said, it's a 2008 S2000. Um, it was bone stock, believe it or not, when I got it uh, June of last year from Rich. Shout out to Rich for allowing me to purchase this car. Um, and the car came with the OEM hardtop, which was a huge deal to me, because the OEM hardtop is so difficult to to get for these things. And uh, once I saw that and the color, you could probably tell from the mirror color red um, I had to have it so I had approximately 47,000 miles on it when I purchased it and now it has about well now it's in kilometers for whatever reason let me try to change that really quick there you go and now it has about 50,804 miles on it car drives amazing um, bone stock the car drove well pretty well sorry I'm trying to pay attention to the bumpiness in the road and the guy behind me is driving pretty close but yeah it drove amazing it drives amazing stock uh, obviously it did some modifications to it if you have seen my other car on the channel you'll know that I do like modifying my cars specifically the Hondas they're meant to be modified um, but yeah it's always been a childhood dream having this car I remember going to the dealership with my dad when these things were brand new and just sitting in them while he was doing his well while he was getting his oil changes done. Oh my god. It's horrible out here. Oh, excuse my language. Um but yeah, did some coilovers on it, small stuff here and there, nothing crazy. But man, it's it feels so good out of the box. It legit feels like a go-kart pretty much that's the that's the easiest and most simplest way I would be able to describe this thing but yeah we're going for a drive the roads kind of horrible around here I've never been in this area before particularly uh, these roads so let's see how we do with that's a thousand um, I do want to point out that it is still winter Although it's March in New York, um, it still feels like winter. It's a nice 37 degrees outside. The car does have R compound summer tires on it, which I replaced and I had it installed last year after I bought it. So I'm not going to go too, too crazy with the car, uh, especially knowing that, you know, it's not going to have maximum grip on these back roads, but we will try and have, a, have some fun. not many people on this road let's see the car does need a new clutch um, when I purchased it last year, I did a bunch of OEM maintenance parts, such as a uh, Slave Master cylinder, the uh, the other cylinder. I, f I forgot the name, but I'll probably put it in the in a text box below. Um, I thought there was an issue with one of those, you know, slaves because the clutch pedal felt a bit sticky and. You know, first thing first thing I did was to bleed all the fluids, replace all the fluids, and I thought that that would solve the problem, but it didn't. And then I had those uh, master cylinders and slave cylinder replaced. I did it myself with brand new OEM Honda, uh, and the car still has a little bit of stickiness on the pedal, so I brought it to Billman. If you are familiar with S2000s, you, I'm sure you know who that is. But if you aren't, he is one of the best technicians um, for these cars. 
with, I believe, 20 plus years of experience working on them. Um, but yeah, I brought it to him. Pretty far drive, but totally worth it. And he did the valve adjustment on the car and I had him take a look at everything that was going on in regards to the clutch. So we made a determination, unfortunately, that the car needs a new clutch. Um, so I did book an appointment with Bill Mann again, um, coming up in a few weeks. And he will be doing a OEM clutch install on this car, which I'm excited about because it should drive so much better than before. Um, I will have some fender work on the car as well. Do a small pull over here. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, that's one of the major things coming up for the car. I do would like to get the fender rolls as rolled as well. Excuse me. We have some spaces for it that'll be going on shortly. And that's pretty much why I'm waiting for um, that work to be done before I go ahead and do a walk around and modification list video of the car similar to what I've done with my SI. If you haven't watched that video, you should. GoPro is limiting me from moving my head. Probably just hit the camera on the window just now, so my apologies. Talk about a little, little, a uh, couple things coming up. Uh, there is a S2000 track day that will be taking place in Lime Rock Park on April 1st, which I'll attend. Um, I will not be tracking this car, but I will go just to uh, spectate. My buddy Ken with his Civic Type R 2023 will be there, be rolling with him and you know just viewing what the track life is about this would be my first first time at the track physically spectating an event maybe in the future we will you know track one of the cars but knowing how i am and how ocd i am with my cars i'm not sure if that's going to happen maybe we'll get another car in the future to have you know to be a dedicated track car but we have that coming up. We also have a Cars and Coffee coming up, coming up this weekend. I might do a short um, vlog for you guys in regards to that, depending on the weather. Hopefully uh, the weather stays nice. If there's any salt on the ground, unfortunately we will not be attending. We as in myself and my buddies, so they don't drive the cars in the salt and neither do I. I like to keep our cars mint and I'm, I will try and document the process for the clutch install which is also coming up during this month however I'm contemplating on that because I don't want to be in front of Bill Man's face while he's doing the install so maybe I'll just do like a, a driving vlog after the clutch has been installed to talk about my impressions and everything like that driving on a worn out clutch versus a brand new OEM clutch and obviously some break-in period is required for that so I, I will not be pushing the car at all for at least 500 miles or so but we have a couple of those events coming up a couple of drives with the buddies which I'll try to document as well and uh, any other car shows or cars and coffees that come up we will try and document those as well another thing i have to do i've been told 
based on my close friends and family who have watched my videos. I need to stop saying um, and I know I'm saying it and I said it multiple times already, but I need to stop saying that. I will work on that for future videos. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just driving. Yeah, but the clutch grabs so high, even with all the adjustments, replacing all the slave cylinders, master cylinders, and everything like that, doing the clutch replacement, uh, clutch fluid based on LHT performance's recommendation, check them out on YouTube. Excellent, excellent shop. Super OCD guys who knows how to, uh, who know how to work really, really well on these cars and any other car actually located in Florida. Anyone who's uh, wondering. So the goal for this car, I guess we could talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy on this car. It's it's on classic car insurance, uh, collector car insurance actually. And uh, I personally don't like to go too crazy for, you know, to, to, uh, in regards to modifying my cars. I like to keep them OEM plus, similar to the SI. I think I'll be rocking the factory wheels on this car, which I had powder coated, which you guys will see in the future video. I really like how they look and I feel like a lot of the S2000s they have aftermarket wheels but not many people run the factory wheels anymore and I really really like I said like the look and I think with some spacers and such especially with the car being lowered right now on coils and everything like that I think it would look great oh, a big bump coming up Go ahead. Let me just see where I am. Because I should really put put it back to where I'm supposed to go. Let's see. I'll just put it back Head to there. Ash Terrace for Broadway. All right, let's just end up. I can't see anything, but. Can't wait to get the clutch done so the uh the car can shift nicely it feels so weird coming out from the si like i was saying before i got rudely interrupted by the gps is oh give me a second let me try to cross the street without getting killed first So yeah, coming out of the SI with a hundred plus thousand miles on the stock clutch where I bought the car brand new versus this car, which has 50,000 miles now at 47 when I got it, uh, it kind of blows my mind how worn out this clutch was, is actually, how worn out this clutch is. And it makes me wonder how the previous owners drove the car for it to be worn out like this, especially with such low mileage. Um, but me mechanically everything else checked out on the car so far i'm not too worried but it would be funny if after replacing clutch i still have the same issue 
where the pedal is really sticky. Oh, I don't think they could go. Maybe I'll go. Maybe not. sitting in my garage the entire winter. I uh, haven't really been driving it, obviously. Don't want to get any salt on it. I don't want to drive it in the rain. Um, but the SI has also been in the same scenario pretty much. But I did take it out here and there way more than obviously this car. This car I think I actually took out once to some meet in New Jersey, uh, which is pretty cool. But other than that, it's been on a battery tender. I had it jacked up for the majority of the winter at one point. And uh, yeah, it's just been stored away. It's nice to actually drive it again uh, until we get hit with a snowstorm and maybe some salt on the ground, you know? So this, this year, been a blessing out here in the northeast where we didn't get much snow at all actually and the winter has been incredible really fair to say the least oh, we have a race car truck over here to the left doing pulls it's awesome i'm gonna stay back the headlights are so good on this car too it's like the projectors were way ahead of its time. Just engineering of this car in general as a whole, I feel like the car was so ahead of its time at the push button start. Obviously no uh, smart key or anything like that. Back in 2008, no backup camera or anything, uh, sensors or none of that mumbo jumbo stuff. But it's such a raw driving experience um, for those who are thinking about purchasing an S2000, I highly recommend it. Even if you have an S, you know, Civic SI or a NA Honda, and you think that it will be very similar, because this car, I think, makes a little bit more power than the SI, from my understanding. Or it might be actually the same, but it's just a completely different driving experience, getting into a two-door, one of the best engineered cars that Honda ever produced and experiencing everything it's incredible and the aftermarket support is so great for the car it's it's just it's a great car to have to modify to drive and it's cheap to maintain I wouldn't say cheap for the prices anymore God God help us if you uh if you want to know how much I pay for this thing I'm not even gonna say too much let's just say that way too much but it did come with the hard top and everything so but yeah these things are going oh i think i missed my turn these things are going for anywhere from for a good good condition good example car it's going anywhere from i seen it at 26k with a little bit of high miles all the way to 40, 50 K. And then the 
the CRs forget about it. They're probably they're probably like 60, 70 K cars. Maybe some in the fifties or so. It's just absolutely insane how much those cars are. Leave it left here. Can't see a street light, so that's great. Not gonna go because this guy's probably gonna. Yep, I, how did I know that was gonna happen? People are out of control. GoPro is heating up. My head's getting hot. But it's okay. We need to make this video for you guys. It's been too long. Feels like it's been a week. A week too long. Can't promise videos every week though. Just to let everyone know. Pretty busy schedule, unfortunately, just like everybody else in the world, let's say. But I will try and produce videos as often as I can for everybody's entertainment. And feel free to uh, place any questions or anything like that that you guys may have um, regarding this car, the Civic Si that I have, or just, you know, cars in general. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and help out as much as I can with the responses. And try to make car community a better place. I've seen a lot of people be very salty these days. They don't want to give up their wheel specs or what to do in order to make the modification work out or even maintenance stuff or one-off stuff let's say and it's just really a shame. Everybody should be helping out each other. Helping each other out. Wow English has been horrible. Let me turn this off because it's getting kind of frustrating. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen people, I barely see people help each other out. That's something that I feel should be done as much as you possibly can. Help another person out, especially somebody who's just getting started in the car scene. I remember being 16, 17 years old, getting my first brand new car, asking a lot of questions researching on the forums and a lot of people you know they didn't want to respond to basic simple questions which i understand all the information is online but people didn't want to give up their secrets let's say which i never understood why i'm gonna pull up to a parking lot over here by the water and we'll end the video there, everyone. Until next time, appreciate everybody watching as usual. And uh, stay tuned for hopefully a walk around video of this car. I want to get my spaces on before I do that. Let's see how, how soon I can make that happen. It really depends on. Uh, schedule of the person who will be doing it I will leave everyone off with this fantastic view of the Hudson River oh something sketchy is definitely happening in that car corner spots the best spots alrighty thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it uh, you know drop a like comment have any questions place it in the comment box below and I'll see you next time